Hey, hey, it's Jason ODB, AKA the Lincoln Addict. Wanted to hit you guys with a quick video, give you a few updates, what I got going on here. Just know that I am working on new episodes of the podcast. So uh, that's gonna be coming at you guys real soon. We also, um, I also recently picked up some new equipment. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more video work as we kind of move into 2021. So really looking forward to that and bringing you guys a lot more content here from Lincoln Addict. So uh, let's jump right in. Uh, the first thing is, uh, many of you probably remember this car exchange publication. Uh, re growing up around here, uh, I read Auto Trader. I don't remember if car exchange was like uh, available nationally, but this is from September 1980. And I had to pick this one up. You know, I've got the blue Lincoln Continental here, uh, my 64. And uh, really, it could almost be that uh there's a bug crawling it's uh it's dusk here it really could be the same car almost um but i wanted to show you guys this and then show you a couple other things uh that i think you would appreciate so um on this one really really nice condition you have um table of contents back in the 60s there were many luxury car buyers who considered the Lincoln Continental four-door convertible to be a classic in its own time. Beginning on page 58, Car Exchange examines two Continentals, a 62 sedan and a 64 convertible. Of course, it's the same image as that. And um, the cool thing was they put the 64, the convertible, on the cover. I'm sure it helped sell more of these uh, issues. I always thought this was kind of an odd scene because you've got – what appears to be a lady face down getting some sun on a weird little dock on a small pond. Like, do you think this scene could be real? <laughs> that she drives her convertible, backs it up right there? It's just kind of weird, but whatever. So on page 58, comparing Continentals, this is a Bob, L-I-C-H-T-Y. He did, uh, looks like the photos and the write-up for this, comparing Continentals. Uh, and then you kind of see the, there it says, uh, for Sunday drives, the four-door convertible is the uncontested winner. The sedan handled better, accelerated quicker, and had a tighter feel. Can't really see quicker there with the tree. Probably not the best use of black fawn, but, you know, hey, this is 40 years ago, right? So pretty cool. I had to pick this up. And um, for anyone that wants to kind of check out what it says there this is going into the collection now i know it's uh from what i can tell those look like black door panels i know it's not my car <laughs> but my car had the same seat color of course this has a wisconsin plate definitely know it's not my car but uh, my car was uh, sold September, was it 77 at the Auburn auction? And the guy I bought it from bought it there and had it all that time. But I do like this. I mean, think about it. 40 years ago, a side-by-side -side of a sedan from a 6.2 and then a 64 convertible. Pretty cool. And uh, just like the Motor Trend video I did of the 64 from Bob McVeigh, uh, it, of course, lists a lot of the car specs. I'm sure if you were a part of the media back then, you could easily just obtain this from uh, said OEM. Original price, sixty or 6074 Current value for a 62 sedan was 2600 And then you can see there, really the 64 convertible, if you can imagine that, was give or take $900 more original price in a 62 sedan and a 6,400 current value. So about 4,000 more. Man, if you just had a time machine, you could go back and buy all these, put them in storage so they didn't rust out and be on the rise in 2020. So um, when I first looked through this, I was like, huh, I thought maybe it was only going to be a couple of pages. And, you know, I, to my surprise, to flip here again, uh, there was more content. So 
thought that was a cool photo. You've got the hood up on both. You've got the deck lid up on the sedan and then the convertible deck lid open. All eight doors open. That body roll though. It is loud here outside with all the cars driving by. September 1980. And then of course you got, you know, the Shelby. But it was pretty cool, like, because I could see someone going back or someone buying this, like myself or whoever. Uh, you're gonna have, of course, a lot of stuff in here, but for um, the cost, a dollar fifty. You couldn't go wrong picking this up because you actually, instead, you know, even if you weren't in the market to buy something, uh, you had all kinds of other stuff. And then, you know, there's the typical classifieds I'd be thinking, um, you know, would, would appear in a, in a publication like this. Now, I haven't gotten to, I didn't plan to really go through, uh, I'll go through over here um, anytime I have any of this older literature stuff. Of course, with it being dusk out here, you know, like there's a quick look. Original wheel covers, 69, $10. Lincoln parts. Pretty cool. Um, I do want to have Chris Dunn on the podcast at some point. He owns Lincoln Land. Of course, Tony and I are friends with him. Um, obviously, a lot of history there and Blair Farmer as well. These guys, including John Cashman, really kind of the old school Lincoln Rat Pack around here in the Florida area. And they've went on to be, you know, some of the biggest names out there in terms of parts, uh, kind of the go-to guys, if you will, to fix these cars, to keep them on the road. So uh, that's something that just kind of came to mind that I'm really hoping to do here as we move into 2021. Uh, another couple quick things, and then we'll end this one out. Um, if you have a 64, and I know many of you are going, hey, I don't have a 64. Let's see if this will focus. Uh, I'm going to make these for other years if there's interest. But this is an exact replica, reproduction, if you will. Reproduction is probably a better word. Of the original dealer's service policy. So uh, this is a blank copy. Again, reproduction. And uh, this one, right now I only have them for 64. Uh, this is something you could either fill out or put into like a little sleeve and display with your car. You got a bunch of information here. This is an exact scan of an original that I own for my car. And definitely apologize, the light is not the best right now with daylight saving time. And then the warranty information. It was 24 months or 24,000 miles, whichever came first. So uh, I have these on my website, our lifestyle podcast, O U R, lifestylepodcast.com. If you click the little kind of fly out menu on the left, uh, the kind of, I call it the triple lines, that will bring you down to some different options. If you click on Lincoln Addict, uh, you'll see uh, this is listed under miscellaneous items. Uh, only uh, a very low price. So if you want to go out there and pick one up, it's only a couple dollars to ship. I'll get them out typically within a couple of days. So again, just a nice piece to add to your Continental 64 right now. I know uh, many of you guys are going to say, hey, I want the 61 through the 69s. I'm working on those. Lastly, I can't end this without telling you this quick little story. This thing is dirty right now. This is the polished hub cap, one of the polished hub caps for my 64 Lincoln Continental that you guys just saw. And um, this thing was on a hiatus for a couple of weeks. I lost this recently. I lost one in August, August, no, July 31st or August 1st, I lost one. And it was, it, there's no, it was no way I was getting it back. Um, this one I lost driving northbound on the same interstate, almost in the same spot on the Kennedy cruise going home. And I say that because um, I tried to find it and I couldn't. Went back the next day, couldn't find it. 
and a couple of weeks later I was coming back from downtown from work that day I was in a different area and I didn't have anyone behind me and I was able to go real slow and it was laying like this I was pretty certain I saw it so I got off of the next exit got back on it was on the left side of the interstate uh, up against the concrete barrier and as soon as I got on the interstate it was not much room to get over to it and I waited and I was able to find it so don't give up hope <laughs> um, I remember the day I looked in my mirror this came off the rear driver's wheel and this thing you hear it go ting that's nothing the uh, Lincoln owners want to hear and this thing was off a rolling I was in the fast lane I think the left lane just cruising everything was good and I lost it now um, actually you know what I you know what it was it was right side up because I did see it shiny since it's polished and of course it had from the rain sitting on it you know rain it had leaves on it so it was kind of it was kind of covered up but it's back and I say that because no one wants to lose one of those uh, the other thing is um, huge shout out to devious Customs. so if you're looking for suspension parts for your Lincoln Look no further, deviouscustoms.com. Jeff and team are the best in the business. Also, Colorado Custom Wheels. So, uh, coloradocustom.com, they replicate these exact hubcaps for a Lincoln wheel out of build aluminum. So, many of you know uh, these wheel covers were really never meant uh, for uh, radial tires. They were meant for, they were set up for bias ply because that's what everyone ran. So, what'll happen is these teeth on the back. Um, just the best example I can give you is sometimes the tire will push on these teeth and you will lose these things. I've lost this one. This is the first time I lost this one. I lost the other one. Um, but I've had them pop off on back roads and I'm able to rescue them, but these are not going back on. Um, they're all off the car now. And, uh, these will be wall hangers, you know, but uh, ColoradoCustom.com, Michael and team are the best in the business. The, mer the wheels are made in America, which I believe is important, especially if you live here. And they look just like this. You can do, uh, he's got custom center caps that cover up the lug nuts, and they've got a real cool way th that those fit on there. So uh, look up Colorado Custom on Instagram or Facebook or ColoradoCustom.com. All right. Um, I think that's it. Take care, y'all. ODB. The Lincoln Attic. We out you.